while we usually look at removing snow as a chore, a task that uh, we'd rather not do and we want to get done fast, when we remove snow, we should really think about our yards and gardens. You know, in Wyoming, we don't get enough water. Um, and a lot of that water, most of our water, comes in the form of snow. So anything we can do to save our snow and make that snow last longer into next year is an opportunity. So the first thing to think about in removing snow is where are we gonna move it to? Here I have the opportunity to move the snow out into a parking lot onto the blacktop. That blacktop will melt and it'll run into a gutter somewhere. I also have the opportunity to throw it into this bed where I can do several things with it. I can put it around some bushes. Um, snow's a great insulator. It'll help protect the bushes and the plants from the extreme cold and uh, wind that we have here in Wyoming. But what's best about that is it'll actually melt. It'll go into our soils. It'll be here longer for us to utilize. Something to think about is if sometimes we put ice melt out, we wanna be careful not to shovel that salt into our lawns and our gardens and our beds. So remember, when we're removing snow, we can always think about where we're putting that snow and how do we get it into the soil so we can keep it around longer. This is Hudson Hill, University of Wyoming Extension. You're watching from the ground up.